Hey everyone, welcome back to HGTV Handmade Throwback Thursday edition with me, Meg. Today we're heading on over to The Garden Show to see how we can make a terrarium that will totally last and basically be a miniature ecosystem. Crafting, science, and gardening all together, I'm into it. Let's check it out. Watch an indoor mini garden grow when you plant your own low maintenance terrarium. Start by filling a clean, dry fish tank with an inch or two of small pebbles. Next, add about an inch and a half of activated charcoal. It helps with odor and guards plants from decay. Put an inch and a half of sphagnum moss on next. It acts like a filter to keep soil in place while letting water through. Now it's time to add the plants. Choose slow-growing plants that can handle low light. We've used parlor palm here. You can also use ferns and moss. Pull excess dirt from around the roots so the plant will fit in the terrarium. If your plant is too large, divide at the roots to fit. Plant in the dirt up to the base. Prune to scale as needed, allowing room for your plant to grow. Once you have all the plants in, even out the rest of the dirt. Then add decorative touches like skipping stones. You can even choose a theme and decorate accordingly. Go ahead and water the plants. The terrarium is like a mini ecosystem, so moisture is important to keep everything alive. Put the terrarium lid on tightly and don't open it for a couple of days. Place it in a bright spot indoors. Check daily for a few weeks to make sure all plants are healthy and still alive. Water sparingly and only when the soil and plants are dry. Then enjoy watching your garden under glass as it thrives. I'm loving that terrarium, and as you can see on Pinterest on any day of the week, there are a million ways to interpret that. Let me know what you think in a comment below. Be sure to like and subscribe if you're digging what you're seeing, and I'll see you next week.